doing that nasty stuff outside called sunlight. Uh, between the ages of 15 and 25, they're going to cut their hair for the first time ever. The hair has to be 18 to 40 inches from the shoulder down. Never cut, stained, dyed, or bleached. Wigs are like articles of clothing. So you might have a dress wig, you might have a wig for travel, you might have a wig for fancy balls, day wear. Matter of fact, the function of the wigs, you can tell what one's occupation happened to be by simply the style of the wig itself. So you had wigs worn by merchants, clergy, physicians, what have you. Um, the colors, white was primarily formal wear, and that was for dress, battles, portraits, or having uh, going to a fancy ball. Whereas you find the darker colored wigs are more visible for daytime wear, and they were worn throughout the, the city itself. And gray, now that's your professionals, your merchants, your solicitors, such as that. Uh, I would say, Probably one of the most significant persons wearing wigs here in the capital city is going to be Lady Dunmore. And you don't want to ever outdo Lady Dunmore's fashions by any means. So if she's going 6 to 12 inches, then you're going 5 to 11. <laughs> you're going less than she is. Still elaborate styles, but not quite as elaborate as hers.